myself our sang sv assistant professor in tc department wit sholapur in today's session we are going for basic application of pn junction diode as a rectifier at the end of this session students will be able to explain basic types of rectifier circuits and describe operation of different rectifier circuits students should pause video here and recall what is the property of pn junction diode in forward bias and in reverse bias condition when pn junction diode is in forward bias condition it conducts it behaves like short circuit from anode to cathode and carries current only in one direction from anode to cathode and it acts as on switch when pn junction diode is in reverse bias condition it does not conduct it carries no current it behaves like open circuit from anode to cathode it operates as off switch now let us start with the definition of rectifier circuit rectifier circuit is an electronic circuit which converts input ac power into output dc power input ac current and voltage are converted into output dc voltage and current the basic application of rectifier circuit it is mainly used in dc power supply now basically rectifier circuits are classified as half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier again full wave rectifier are classified as full wave rectifier with center tap transformer and full wave bridge rectifier generally half wave rectifier consist of simple transformer a single diode and load resistor r generally rectifiers are operated from transformer with ac main supply basically there are two types of transformers step up transformer and step down transformer step up transformer is used in high voltage dc power supply rectifier circuit and step down transformer is used in low voltage dc power supply rectifier circuits half wave rectifier consist of simple rectifier a simple transformer a single diode and load resistor r half wave rectifier conducts in alternate half cycles of input ac voltage signal from secondary of transformer so load current flows in alternate half cycles of input ac voltage signal as current flows only in one direction it is a dc current and voltage developed across r is a output dc voltage so output dc voltage and current is not pure dc it is in terms of sinusoidal pulses so the figure uh, b shows the equivalent circuit for half wave rectifier with uh, ideal diode voltage drop across conducting diode and forward resistance of a diode now let us go for the second type of rectifier circuit that is full wave rectifier with center tap transformer so full wave rectifier with center tap transformer consist of transformer with secondary winding center tap two diodes diode d1 and d2 and load resistor r this full wave rectifier conducts in both the half cycles of input ac voltage signal from secondary of transformer the transformer is with center tap secondary the secondary ac voltage is split into two equal parts the point the full wave rectifier with center tap transformer consists of center tap transformer two diodes diode d1 and d2 and load resistor r transformer with center tap secondary secondary voltage is split into two equal parts each part drives each diode now consider a positive half cycle of input ac voltage signal the point a is at positive potential with respect to point b so diode d1 is forward biased and at the same time diode d2 is reverse biased so diode d1 conducts the current flows through upper half part of secondary through diode d1 
to load register R and returns to the center point of second row transformer. In the next consecutive negative half cycle of input AC voltage signal, the point B is at positive potential with respect to point A. So this time diode D1 is reverse biased and diode D2 is third biased. So diode D2 conducts the current flows through lower half part of secondary through diode D2 through load register R and finally current returns to the center tap of transformer. So in both positive and negative half cycles of input AC voltage signal, the current flows in the same direction in only one direction through load register R. So it is a DC current and the voltage developed across R is a DC voltage. Now the second type of full wave, uh, full wave rectifier is known as bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier consists of a simple transformer, uh, four diodes connected as electrical bridge and load register R. The main advantage of a bridge rectifier, it does not require a transformer with center tap secondary. It requires simple transformer. The transformer with center tap secondary is relatively costly. Consider a positive half cycle of input AC voltage signal. The point A is at positive potential with respect to point B. So diode D1 and D2 are forward biased and diode D3 and D4 are reverse biased. So current flows through secondary of transformer through diode D1 through load, load register R and through diode D2 and returns to secondary of transformer. Again in the next consecutive negative half cycle of input AC voltage signal, the point A is at negative potential with respect to point B. So point B is at positive potential. So diode D3 and D4 are forward biased and diode D1 and D2 are reverse biased. So current flows through secondary of transformer through diode D3, through load register R, through diode D4 and returns to secondary of transformer. So in both half cycles of input AC voltage signal, the current flowing in the same direction through load register R. So the voltage appearing across R is a DC voltage and current flowing through R is a DC current. So in this way, the input AC voltage signal is converted into output DC voltage signal. The rectifier conducts for both half cycles of input AC voltage signal. These are references. Thank you.